it's fashioned from hairpins. But this one, you unlock with just the power of your mind. You open it and step into another world where the laws of time and space, sight and sound, sanity and insanity that apply in our world, in this world, don't apply at all. You step through and find yourself without a shadow and without substance, without ideas or logic. You've just entered the ethereal district. To the magnificent Maximus and Molly show. I'm Maximus. And I'm Holly. Molly. Your name is Molly, dear. But Holly is a much better name. They sound basically the same, Molly. Don't be so difficult. They may sound exactly the same, but Holly is a beautiful name that reminds people of Christmas and happiness. But it's not Christmas, Molly, and you're not happy. I am too happy. Yeah? What do you have to be happy about? Well, I love to talk, and all these people came to see me talk. We know you love to talk, Molly. Ouch, Molly! That was a very ladylike behavior. Well, gentlemen aren't rude to ladies. Molly, I wasn't being rude. We all know you are a chatty Kathy. Now I'm Kathy? No, you're still Molly. Kathy's just a name for women who enjoy the sound of their own voices. Ouch, Molly, you're starting to get a little aggressive there. Aggressive? Me? Oh, Maxie, I would never be aggressive towards you. I'm not sure I believe you, Molly. Well, what can I do to convince you? How about we do another trick for the audience? Oh, I've got one. Pull on my pigtail. Molly, that would be rather rude of me. Why would I pull on your pigtail? It's a trick I've been working on. All right, I guess I can. Oh, Molly, you hit me again. <laughs> it was a mighty fine trick, though, wasn't it? I wasn't very impressed. Well, I wasn't trying to impress you. You didn't pay to come see me talk. All right. I think the audience gets it now. You enjoy hitting me. It isn't funny anymore. All right, Maxie, if you're going to be such a big baby about it, I won't hit you anymore. Don't call me Maxie, Molly. Only Mother calls me Maxie. Who? Kathy? Who's Kathy? A woman who likes the sound of her own voice. Molly! Don't be mean to Mother. Why? You do say she does love to talk. Why, well, the other day you were mentioning how she told you you need to find a woman and that you have... Okay, Molly. Let's not share my personal details with the audience. Why? Is she here? Sadly, no. My brother had a ball game today and she had to make a choice between the two of us. Seems like she made the better choice. Molly, don't you think I'm funny? Of course I think you're funny. Looking. <laughs> All right, Molly. Enough of the cruelty. Don't you have any jokes not at my expense? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, do you have a dollar? Why, I do happen to have a dollar, actually. There you are. There, that was the last joke at your expense, I promise. Molly, I'm not made of money, you know. We can tell. All right, Molly, it's time to straighten up your act. I knew it was my act. I mean your behavior. I think I have a very positive behavior. I mean your attitude. Oh, well, I guess my attitude could use some work. You can be very mean sometimes, Molly. Only if you upset me, Maxie. Now, what have I ever done to upset you? Let's not talk about this now, Maxie. Not in front of all the people. All right, calm down, Molly. You're right, we won't talk about this now. You know, maybe we should talk about this now. If you did just don't like me anymore, maybe I should find a new ventriloquist. Oh, Molly, that's not what I said. You keep saying that I have bad behavior, or that I'm not acting ladylike enough for them hurting your feelings, and I don't know if I can keep working. Molly, that's not what I meant. You know that you're delightful. Now, wasn't that an amazing trick, ladies and gentlemen? Now, who wants to see how it was done? Now, Molly, a magician never reveals his secrets.
share my secrets to Maxie. Now, I need a volunteer from the audience. Me, me! Come on, pick me, pick me! You see me, How right, 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 me, me! Uh, I think the young boy in front is a much better me, choice. Please, 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 Really? Good! Now, do you want to help us with the show and see the trick how it was done? <gasps> Boy, do I! How about before that, a joke? You don't have many more jokes left, Max, so you don't want to blow your whole act tonight. Just one more, Molly. Alright, which one did you have in mind? Why did the baker go bankrupt? Because he couldn't make enough dough. Ah! Ha! Ha! You knew the punch <sighs> one to that one, Molly. That wasn't fair. I don't think the boy wants to hear jokes, Maxie. I think he wants to see magic. I do want to see magic. Oh, I've got it. Just the trick for you. In my trunk over there, there's a hamburger. Go fetch it for me. This one again. I'm hungry, Molly. We'll show the boy the other one after dinner. Here you go, Mr. Maximus. Thank you, Johnny. Now observe. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again Whoa! How did you do that? I'm brilliant, that's how A lot of practice, Johnny Now let's give Johnny a big round of applause Thank you, and thank you, everyone Don't you want to help us with the finale? Lola, Lola, jump, yes! Good! Now I want you to come closer and place your hand on my back, right? I said... Don't touch her! What you being so dramatic for? You'll scare the boy. Good, he should be scared. I won't let you do this to an innocent child. You're starting to frighten me, mister. Yeah, back off, mister. I won't back off. Johnny, will you listen to me? I don't listen to a word he says, Johnny. He had one too many apple teenies before the show, and he's completely blitzed. Is your mother here, Johnny? Uh, she's right over there. I need you to run to her and never touch this dummy. Who are you calling a dummy? I want to see magic. Yeah, he wants to see magic. Not this magic you don't, Johnny. This is horrible magic. It's a trick that takes away your tongue and freedom. It makes it so you don't know your thoughts and feelings from the thoughts and feelings that from a wooden doll. But, sir, she's such a lovely wooden doll. I know anything so horrible could come from such a wonderful toy. But that's right, I am lovely, Johnny. He thinks I'm lovely, man. How old are you, Johnny? Ten and a half. Johnny, you may think you know right from wrong, but there are so many grays. This is a lousy trick. It's a boring trick. You don't want to see it anyway. I don't think we need to hear from Max anymore, Johnny. Sorry, Max. Looks like I'm going to finish the rest of the act on my own. <sighs> You're really starting to kill all the fun with your talk of series. This thing's being boring. <laughs> Hey, Johnny, you want to see the magnificent Max do one more trick before he goes? How about it, Maxie? Good. Now, can you grab me the glass of water from offstage? Thank you. And hand it over to Maxie for me, will ya? Here you go, Mr. Maximus. Well, Max, you look parched. Take a drink. So, Johnny, I want you to place your hand on my back right next to Maxie's, okay? You don't have anything to worry about. Uh, is Maximus okay? He's fine, just thirsty. He's still drinking, but there's no more water left. He must be searching for one last drop. Should I get him some more? You don't need to worry about Maxie anymore, Johnny. Okay, so I'll just uh, place my hand 